Hey, what's up? It's Alex. Today, let's look at the connected sounds in a short piece where somebody is explaining what kind of job they do. Now, this isn't actually my job. I just made this up. But let's take a look anyway. I'm a freelance drone photographer. I'm a, I'm a freelance drone photographer. So there's not really any changed sounds here in this first sentence. But pay attention to how the sounds connect. I'm a free... I'm a freelance drone, drone photographer. All of these sounds connect to each other, the vowels and the consonants. I'm a freelance drone photographer. I own a couple different types of drones and people hire me to get aerial photos for them. I own, uh, I own a couple different types of drones. I own a couple different types, different types. We connect the two T sounds together different types. And look at this, I'm not saying different. That first E in different is completely removed. I'm not saying different types, it's just different, different types. I own a couple different types of drones. Here of, before the consonant D in drones, removes its V sound. Types of drones, types of drones. I own a couple different types of drones, and people hire me, and people, and people hire me. Now this is interesting, and usually loosens its d sound. It's normally an, and people, right, and people. But before p, a n sound often turns into a m sound. So it becomes am people, and people hire me, and people hire me. Now you can only say this if you're speaking quickly. As soon as you're speaking slowly, these connected sound rules don't usually apply. So if you're speaking slowly, and people hire me, and people, now suddenly I'm saying every letter in the word. But as soon as I start speaking quickly, it's and people hire me, and people hire me. And people hire me to get, hire me to get, so the word to gets reduced a lot here. Duh, duh, duh. Hire me to get aerial photos. So here, to get aerial, there's a tap there, to get aerial photos, to get aerial photos. Hire me to get aerial photos for them. For um, for um. Now I could say for um, both are fine, but here, aerial photos for um, for um. The important part is that we're taking out the th in them. Aerial photos for them. Most of my clients are businesses who want images for an ad campaign. Most of my clients, we take out the v in of again, most of my clients, sir, sir, most of my clients are businesses. You might have seen sometimes the apostrophe re, spelling of r. Most of my clients are businesses. Now, in American English, we don't normally write that. It's very uncommon to see apostrophe re after an ordinary noun like clients, for example. But we say it like that. Most of my clients are businesses. Most of my clients are businesses who want images, who want images. Here the T gets completely removed from want. Who want images for an ad campaign. For an ad campaign. Here for turns into fur. For an ad campaign. Like car dealerships or small farms. Like car. Like car dealerships. Here the K in like and the K in car connect together like car dealerships or small farms. Here, or turns into just er, or small farms. I also sometimes do work for developers. I also connect these two vowel sounds together. I also sometimes, I also sometimes do work for developers. Here we're changing for into fur. For developers, for developers. For developers who want images of the land they're thinking about buying who want images, and we're going to take out that T after the N before a vowel, who want images, who want images of the land they're thinking about buying. Of the turns into of uh, the, want images of the land, of the land they're, of the land they're thinking about buying. Now this is a, a series of complicated changes here, of uh, the land there. So when I say land, the D disappears and the N connects to the TH. 
images of the land they're thinking about buying. Of the land they're thinking about buying. So we have two words here that end in ing. Thinking about buying. In a lot of fast speech, the ing just turns into in. This happens to me if I'm speaking really informally. But if I'm speaking a little bit more formally, like if I'm talking about my job, I'll probably keep the ng sound at the end of an ing word. Thinking about buying instead of thinking about buy-in. Finally, the t in about turns into a glottal stop. Thinking about, thinking about, about buying. So whether you're saying ing or just in for the thinking and buying words, the t in about will always turn into a glottal stop in fast speech. I'm a freelance drone photographer. I own a couple different types of drones and people hire me to get aerial photos for them. Most of my clients are businesses who want images for an ad campaign, like car dealerships or small farms. I also sometimes do work for developers who want images of the land they're thinking about buying.